What is up? So we've had a pretty long day already. We were up at 4 a.m. and we've been practically driving for eight hours straight already through pretty bad conditions, really rainy all the way down. But we are finally in Joshua Tree and I'm so excited to get out of this car and relax. We are staying in possibly the nicest Airbnb that I could find around this area. It's called the Castle House Estate and it looks unbelievable. We're literally staying in a guard tower, so I'm really excited about that. It has a sauna and a pool as well, so hopefully the weather clears up and we get to see that. Now, we are a little early, we can't check in until 3 p.m., so we're gonna grab a little bite to eat. Mexican food. <laughs> we found a Mexican spot quite close by to us called La Palapa. Let's see what it tastes like. It's beer with like Clamato juice, some of the little shrimp on the side. <laughs> Size of that thing. After eight hours on the road, this is much needed. <sighs> this is one big ass burrito. Look at the size of that coming in my head. We're going to go straight to our accommodation. We're actually going to do a little trail first because we feel like we've wasted the day a little bit. But I promise I'll show you that accommodation first thing in the morning when we get up because it'll be dark when we get home. But we are about to see the Arch Rock now. So we're on the Arch Rock Trail. Exciting. Before we go any bloody further, let's take a moment to appreciate why we're here. The real bloody deal. This is a Joshua tree. <laughs> you like Dora the Explorer? Yeah. I wish. So we made it to Arch Rock, which is pretty sweet as you can see. <laughs> Sammy, stop it. <laughs> yeah, I never realized that I liked stones and rocks until I got here. It's just phenomenal, especially with the, the sun shining on us like this. But um, it's only like a 20 minute walk to get to Arch Rock, so I definitely recommend it. But now, back home so we can see our accommodation. Start climbing up these big rocks. Make sure you can get down. We have made it to our accommodation here in Joshua Tree and I am so excited about it. This place looks unbelievable. We are staying at the Castle House Estate and it's probably the most unique place that I could find on Airbnb. Now the grounds are quite big and there's a few different types of accommodation that you can stay in. Um, shipping containers have their own rooftop. A couple of these yurts which are deadly. Maybe a little too cold at the moment. It is November to stay in those yurts though. They also have this container which is actually pretty slick with the big open windows. One thing I love about this place, and probably most of the accommodations in Joshua Tree are probably the same, is that everywhere you look is just mountain range and unbelievable landscapes. And when you get the sunrise and they're hitting all those different shadows, all the harsh lights, it's stunning. Literally stunning everywhere you are. It's so beautiful. They also have pretty cool amenities on the place as well, like this pool. They have this sauna. They have some places to chill. This tea house. Each place has its own fire pit. <laughs> but without a shadow of a doubt, we are staying on the coolest place on this premise and maybe in Joshua Tree. We are staying in a guard tower. Let me show you around. So into the first room, this is the bottom floor. It is quite small, but it is cool. Some chairs. You can bring this bad boy outside. There's some blankets as well. Here we go up the bedroom. So cool. Again, the rooms are small, but um, I don't know, they're fun. The view from the bedroom is pretty sweet. Maybe the best feature of them all is those stairs. A little bit of a struggle to get up. Our own rooftop with little sunbeds. How cool is this? So that pretty much is the entire accommodation, but it's so cool. 
pool, sauna, all the different places to stay. And as as I said, we're probably staying in the best one, the guard tower. So I highly recommend. <laughs> The sun has come out and I am absolutely delighted because it's so much warmer than it has been so far. It's very still, there's no wind, so happy with that. Next up here is Noah Purifoy's Art Museum, which is like just a museum full of things in the desert. I don't really know what to expect, but here we are. So let's have a look around. The crucifixion scene, Jesus in the center of Nazareth, and two criminals on his left and right and Pontius Pilate's minions just in front of them, jeering and feeding him vinegar on a sponge. Wow. Yep, it's dark. I know nothing about religion. So as you can see, like it does just look like a lot of random bits and scrap metal thrown around the yard, but as Sam has just so kindly explained, they all have a little bit of meaning behind them. So there's more to it than what meets the eye, like all art, I suppose. Also just being informed by Sam, who should probably just actually do this video because I'm actually kind of useless. It's called bricolage, where you take someone else's trash and make it your treasure, like art. There you go. Over to Sam now. Not entirely sure you're supposed to climb other things, but here we are. So that was Noah's Purifoy Art Museum, which is pretty cool. Um, as I said, it does seem like a lot of random things in the desert, but the more you look around, the more you open your eyes, I suppose, the more there is. It's pretty cool, definitely worth a visit. Boy, it is early. We are getting up to try see the sunrise here. And I'm so tired and I'm raging. I didn't bring more clothes because it's so cold. I think it's three degrees now. Was not really expecting this from the desert. Pretty naive by me, because it is November. But we are gonna try to see the sunrise somewhere. It's kind of coming out already, so pray for this. It is about 6.40, I'm gonna guess, uh, because the sun is a little bit higher than we thought it was gonna be. We tried to get up for sunrise, but we were a little lazy, but I feel like we've got here at a good time. Everything looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it actually is freezing. It's about three degrees this morning and I can feel it. My fingers are absolutely frozen, but even though it is, it's still definitely worth getting up at like 6 a.m. to try catch this because it's so peaceful and incredibly beautiful with the harsh lighting, so worth it. So that was definitely worth getting up for the sunrise, but as I said, it is so cold this morning. So we are gonna try find some nice hot coffee and a bit of breakfast. Nothing more nutritious or delicious than a good old Denny's breakfast. Let's do it. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. Sad face, we are checking out at the Castle House Estate. What an unbelievable stay. It was such a cool place. Definitely one of the most unique Airbnbs that I've ever stayed in. The sauna, the pool, everything was just so, so nice. And I just love staying in a guard there. What more can I say? So, uh, goodbye to the Castle House Estate. Goodbye. Bye. We will be back. We will be back though. On to the next adventure. Right, so because we are loving Joshua Tree so much, we've actually decided to stay one more night, which means we had to move Airbnb, which is this one behind me. Now, it might look a little bit basic from there, but the room inside is actually so cool, I love it. Now, it's obviously not as unique as the guard tower, but still, it's pretty cool. And it gives us one more day of exploring, so I can't wait to see a few more things. A little Airbnb there. Sammy. shutter here which I'd say in the summer is pretty sweet but it's way too cold for that now 
Ain't that right? Yes. <laughs> so the last place we are going to stop off in is Barker Dam, but we have stopped off on the road there because the scenery here on this road is so nice. There's so many Joshua trees, mountain range, loads of rock formations and all. It's so cool. I never thought I'd like the desert so much, but this is unbelievable. So even if you don't go to Barker Dam, you have to take this road because it's by far the nicest that we've seen so far. So cool. <laughs> Another moment just to appreciate why we are here, the Joshua tree. Now one thing I forgot to mention is Joshua trees can only be grown in this region and that's why they are so popular because you can't just go to any spot in the world and find them. You have to come to this region. Not necessarily just Joshua tree the town, but the surrounding towns. Uh, and yeah, they're cool, they are. It is a tree, but they're a cool tree. So we're on the Barker Dam Trail now and it's just like a 45 minute round trip so it's not too bad. It's all sandy path and a few steps but pretty casual walking and scenery is amazing. The other thing about the Joshua trees is that they aren't beside, they aren't too close to each other because their root systems are so big that nothing can really survive next to them. Which I kind of like. They can also clone themselves. And they can clone themselves. Which seems to be the primary way that they reproduce through actually cloning. Yeah. I'm nearly positive we're at Barker Dam here behind me, but there is no water, which is great because we walked all this way. Nah, it's still cool. It's still cool. I definitely recommend doing it. But uh, yeah, no water. On our way back. Climbed up these rocks to get a picture. I can't get past this one. Ooh. So our time in Joshua Tree has come to an end. Am I upset that we didn't see water at the Barker Dam? Yes, a little bit, but it's fine. We'll get past it because Joshua Tree is amazing. It literally is like an adult's playground. I would recommend anyone to come here. It's so much fun. When the sun is shining, it's just beautiful. You can spend hours, days, just climbing all over the rocks and seeing the Joshua Trees. So definitely do it. And that first Airbnb was definitely one of the most unique Airbnbs that you can say in, like a guard tower. You're never going to get that anywhere else. It's Unbelievable, definitely check that out, the Castle House Estate. And uh, until next time, 